Okay, guys, what is up? It is essentially the final for the 2021 Lord Helix Draft League. And it is, what is it? It's March 2022. I thought we might be in April already. Who knows? It is an all Welsh finale. It is uh, Chromic Colossals against, I think, the Arcane Arachnids. Um, otherwise known as the Welsh Werelords. It is Matrix. It is Dr. Dave versus Matrix. Um, and it's all come down to this. Like months and months, five rounds of restricted draft leagues, so many different teams, so many different matches, and somehow it has come down to this one game for both the conclusion of round five of season one, but also the entire season as a championship. Now, my optimism levels are pretty low. I'm on a terrible run against Matrix. I mean, just the worst. But Matrix is playing with a lot of form at the moment, so, you know, I can sort of make peace if we do lose this. And whatever happens, whatever happens, the title is coming to a team from Wales. So, you know, first and second, first and second in the Lord Helix Draft League for season one will be Welsh. So that's that's something that, that reflects well on us as a nation, I feel. Um, I'm not really sure what Matrix is up to. He can't really decide uh, on the rules. Um, so we're just, you know, we're just hanging out, waiting for him. I would show you the team, but I'm kind of locked into the screen at the moment. But there is a telltale sign in the top right above me as to what I am doing. There we go. Matrix settled. Um, I'm bringing Deli Bird. Now, I've got a reputation for bringing ridiculous strats that somehow kind of work. Even though I have that reputation, I kind of suspect that Matrix will not be expecting me to bring Deli Bird. I wasn't really expecting me to bring Deli Bird either, but I'm gonna bring Deli Bird. This is the team. Um, Deli Bird is there to proc a maxed Nitto Queen. That's the idea here. Um, we're looking for Ice Shard into the ground type. Um, there's a lot of things here that could go wrong. Like um, if Matrix is bringing um, a psychic, not, uh, yeah, Reniculus. So Reniculus was always going to be the point of concern here. Um, but Toracat's here as potential, um, <laughs> how would you describe it? Potential annoyance. Um, it can do a lot of blockage work. Um, my hope is, my hope is that he's, the Matrix is looking at this and thinking it's Sylveon into Garchomp. That's the likely spread. Um, but it's not. That's not what we're going for. Um, so... What we are going to do, I think we're just going to go for it. I think we're going to show our hand straight from the off. We're going to go Deli Bird. We're going to go Nido Queen and see what he can do about it. Deli Bird also has Fake Out uh, as an interesting side note. So that's a, that's another uh, possibility. Um, Toracat, I think, is um, obviously useful as an option. Actually, do I do this? Actually, no. I don't think I'm going to reveal that hand just yet. I think. I think I'm going to start Toracat. Go Sylveon. Um, yeah, I'm kind of tempted to just just kind of do it this way. Um, Eldegoss can cause problems there. And then maybe Garshop. I think we save the Deli Bird play uh, for the second round of this, I think. I think we're going to play it that way. Um, whether that's the right idea or not, you know, whatever happens, we're going to do the Deli Bird play at some point because I think that's a lot of fun. Uh, but maybe this will lull Matrix into a false sense of security. Possibly. He's playing too well and reading too well to fall for such basic tricks as this. But we're going to see what... We're going to see how it goes. So, um, yeah, and, so, and that was probably the right decision, actually. Um, so, I think what we want to do... Um, obviously, we've got, now we've got Throat Spray on... Ah, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, so that thing could be maxing. I'm terrible at remembering um, flipping abilities at the moment. This is becoming a little bit of a problem. Um, I suppose I could just crunch it. I think what we do, we're going to go fake out into you because you probably want to go, possibly want to go trick room. Ooh, do I go yawn? Do I go yawn? Or do I go psych up? Psych up could also be fun. I think we yawn it. I think we do that. I think we do that. Because if we can get it to fall asleep, that will probably be uh, useful. Obviously, it maxes. Um, 
Question is, where does it go go in now? Um, it, I mean, I'm guessing it's... Oh, no. Rena oh, okay. I mean, that does have a lot of power. There's no doubting that the uh, the Rionculus, however the hell you pronounce that, you know, how many decades have been playing this and I still can't pronounce it. But yeah, so we made the wrong choice. Oh, they weren't fake out. Okay. Okay. And we, we yawned the wrong spot because we were expecting um, a... Uh, where's this going to go? Okay. That's... That's okay. That can be worse. We're faster. Um, they're going to have to... Unless they fall asleep, I think... Um, oh, I'm so confused about this play. What have we got on the bench? We don't... Wow, we could go Elder Goss. We could switch into Elder Goss. So I could... You know what we're going to do? We're going to... We're going to parting shot the Meowstic slot. Because it, it either switches or falls asleep. And we're going to yawn that slot. I think that's the... I think that's a valid play. Because um, it obviously can't outspeed us. Um, Meowstick is either going to fall asleep or switch out. So whatever's going to come in, we're going to get the drop on it. And then we're going to speed drop everything. Oh, unless it knocks us out, of course. Unless it knocks us out, of course. Okay. So. This is not good but it could have been worse it could have been worse <laughs> um so that's asleep um we do have two protect options here um which is again a good thing the, the only slight... I mean, I think we just have to... I think we protect that slot. And I... Uh, do we... I just worry about it um, hammering through despite the... Um, I think I think we... I think we sacrifice the turn of Max. I think. I think we just have to do that. Because if it was me, I'd be smacking the Garchomp slot. And it's terrain boosted. Um, we don't know what item... It's got running, so it could cause all sorts of problems. I'd prefer to be hitting it um, without the potential of huge amounts of damage. Um, so, we'll see how this goes. Because the best case scenario is we're going to be facing two Pokemon that are asleep. Um, which is uh, an attractive proposition. It's not the end of the world. This is definitely not the final pair that we're hoping for. Um but we do know what it's got now. The problem is, it's it's big psychic. And I think Matrix has read my, my, my desires to go in with um, uh, a psychic, uh, a poison play. I think he read it. He read it before the game. He read me like a book. Not for the first time. But, okay, so that's still asleep. And you're going to go Max Mindstorm into that slot. I'm okay. I think we're, we're, we'll we take that. So cotton down. Everyone's slow. And the thing with... um, <laughs> Okay, so we're going to have to kill that thing now. Um, but we can do. Now the thing with Eldegoss, Eldegoss is horribly bulky. Um, so we've just revealed the leftovers. I think... I don't think we've actually hit anything yet. So there's one turn of sleep on that so i think what we have to do is oh actually we'll we'll does he switch does he switch it i don't know i don't want to risk getting smacked at the moment there's no need for cotton guard so i think we do this does he have any fairies i don't think he's got any fairies i don't think meowstick can take this so i think we we, we just hit it um and it may be sashed. Okay, extra turn of sleep. So free turn. That worked out okay. Big damage. Is that because it's sashed or just didn't quite do the job? <laughs> that would be very dangerous now. It's like plus three special. Um, that doesn't really matter. 
Oh, come on! That's really bad. That's super bad. Oh, because it will be waking up this turn. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's super bad. Oh. Should have gone Giga Drain. This old thing of me not landing things that really need to land. Um, let's seed you. Oh, no, no, no. I was, I was, yeah. Ugh. Damn it. Oh, actually, we might be faster. We might be faster. So let's let's hold it together. Let's hold it together. Let's not panic. We'll go for... Damn it. Oh, it was faster and it's really going to hit us. Oh. The miss. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, that worked. <laughs> oh, well, that, that teaches me, because I think we could have won that. I think that's a, that's really harsh seeing that as a 4-0, because I think we could have taken that. Um, if I just smacked it, then we were in a tasty position. I'm kind of surprised it didn't knock uh, one-shot it, because um, it didn't seem like Sash. Um, okay, well, that was, that was painful. That was brutally painful because I, I uh, genuinely feel like we had a, a shot at taking that. So um, now I've got no choice. Ah, oh, that is galling. If it had just landed, it would have been dead and all those boosts and everything goes with it, gone. So this time we are just going to go for it. Um, I think we keep Eldegoss as an option to switch in here. Um, I think that's that's a sensible option. Um, what do we do? What do we do? They could they could be looking at Steelix, but I can I've got things that can deal with Steelix. So I'm gonna go this play this time. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna mix it up. Um, oh, well, as we learnt in the most recent international challenge using moves that are not 100% accurate just don't seem to be sitting for me at the moment it's, it's brutally painful but anyway here comes Deli Bird oh right so I think we have to double uh, protect this first one we've got the shinies we've got the shinies and they think you're like what are we going to do but we're going to definitely protect here to def, def, definitely protect here. Um, do we actually, tell you what, I mean, what we could do, what we could do, because um, they might just look to come smacking in on Eldegar, on the, um, the Nidder Queen swap. So I'm going to, I'm going to protect, and we're going to switch in something to slow everything down, because this, they, they could play for Trick Room here. Um, and he's making the read, because at this stage, Matrix with, you know, I, I say this with great reverence and respect. Matrix is strong enough a player to see the possibilities here. Um, so it's a question of who they go in on. Do they fake out left, go right, max right? Um, we want, I think, slowing everything down is, is, I think, useful. Okay, so Muddy Water comes in. That wouldn't have been a problem. And that would have proctus as well. Um, so maybe doesn't realize we've got proc. Now, of course, this causes some issues because we are going to be um, cottoning down and <laughs> activating again. So this is like just inviting it to go max, which is which is a problem. Okay, this is a problem now. Um, okay, so they're expecting physical, which it is not. Okay, it is not physical. Um, Now, what do we do here? Um, there's not a huge amount that we can do. Um, we've given it the boost, which is a which is a problem. Now, the only thing I'm thinking here is there is a possibility to try and do that play again um, because we sort of need it alive. So I'm... Go Ugh. It's this thing that because we've got the accuracy drop, Leech Seed is probably going to miss now. Um... But I, I don't think we have much of a choice. What have we got coming in? 
Ah, uh, yeah. So that's going to have expanding force. And we are going to be facing some problems now. The only hope is that we're slow enough. Where's that going to come in? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. It's bulky enough to deal with it. And of course, Leech Seed misses. Um, so we want to get rid of that boost. So we're going to yawn it. And I'm thinking we're fast enough. Um, and I'm expecting the Runk to, to go max. So I'm going to try another Leech Seed. Uh, as daft as this is. I was really hoping to do a Psych Up spread, but it didn't quite work out. So it is faster. That's annoying. Super annoying. Okay, okay. So we've got that at least. And that's gone. Okay. So that's a problem. This is definitely a problem. Um, I suppose the thing is now, what do they do? Because they want to come... I mean, Eldegoss is... What do we do here? <laughs> We've just got grass moves. Nidoqueen's just going to die if I bring Nidoqueen in. Um, so that's a problem. It, it, it just can't endure the damage. Um, so I think... Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. We're going to lose and we're not going to be able to do it. Um, so there's a possibility that um, he doesn't max the Meow Stick. Oh, possibility. Possibility, but probably wrong. What we're going to do is try and Leech Seed again. And get stalling. Get stalling. Oh. Okay. Okay, well. Oh, no. So no max. So not the end of the world. And Leech Seed lands this time. Okay. So we're kind of, we're kind of getting somewhere with this. This will hurt the bird. It will hurt the bird. Mm. I'd be expecting them to come in on this slot this time. Um, what if we Giga Drained it? We'll just try. Because we've got double... Um, the temptation for me would be to switch in the Nido Queen now into the Eldegoss slot. Um, that's definitely attractive. So maxing and going in on that slot could be an option. No, I think they're, they're just trying to block out that play. Okay. Oh, it's very good damage, actually. Um, okay, now, you know what wouldn't make sense? It wouldn't make sense to double in on that slot. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if we can proc the Nido Queen. Um, so far, Eldegoss has been doing really well. So I think we're just going to see if... Um, if he wants to leave a poor and out there, he might do. If he wants to flip turn, um, there's still a chance. Unless he doubles in on that slot. Um, and if he does, it's exceptionally well read and, you know, championship is duly yours because it wouldn't be able to do anything apart from maxing the Eldegoss, um, who is quite bulky, I guess. Um, it's super bulky. So I think the, the championship comes down to this. Do they double up on the Nidoqueen Queen slot? No. He went double protect. And you procced me. So that's something. So there's the proc. The question is, can we survive being smacked with Max, um, what do you call it? 
So I think what we do here is we would max and um, we'd max and probably protect, I think. Because we are, there's a lot of investment on special defense here. So you know, he is pretty bulky and we're gonna hopefully hit it now. Yeah, we're still landing these attacks. So that's pretty cool. Decent damage. Ah, a crit. Yeah, I kind of figured it had to be a crit there. So, uh, do we just do this? Do we go for it? Max Quake it? I sort of think we have to. I think we have to do this. Um, and the extra, you know, if we can get away with this, um, so we're going up first. If we can get the plus one special defense on the Elvigos, and maybe even two if we survive long enough to get two, unlikely, but possible, it could make it unkillable. It might be impossible for it to hit anything. Um, but I think this, this makes sense. Ah, yeah. Uh, so it's all again coming down to a dice roll here. Um, Question is, who's maxing, I think? Okay, okay. Ooh, yeah, so he could be faking out. But we'd still get plus one special defense. I don't know if it's going to be enough to make a difference. And if you... Oh, no! The victors! Actually, not not the end of the world, because I think... I think we quake here. And that kills, so we're at plus one. Plus one. And it's plus one defense on the Elder Goss. So it's obviously terrain's gonna be set up now. So I can't do any of my priority stuff. Um, is this gonna do enough? Probably. Yeah, yeah, the minus one. The minus one was enough. It may well have been enough anyway. Um, but now Deli Bird can't do anything. Deli Bird is screwed. <laughs> like properly. Properly screwed, because it's only got um, that move to help it out. Um, but, but it is plus one in terms of special defense. Will that make a difference? Will it be enough? Because we're still chipping off of uh, that thing. Haxorus. Haxorus. I think we knew it was going to be in there somewhere along the way. But Deli Bird can't do anything against it. it can't do anything. Oh, so galling. The only possibility is that, I mean, we could try and stall it. He may want to go max into the Deli Bird. But there's, like, there's, there's nothing we can do here because of the terrain. So I think we... If I was him... Oh, that's what I can do. I can go Cotton Guard. Um, that... that it, it's not going to do much, but... You never know. If they try to go one there and then double in on that slot. Okay. So not the end of the world. And Con Guard goes up. We'll be able to protect the next turn. So we're plus three on defense and plus one on special. Oh. Okay. So Deli Bird does die. But we're plus three. And now we can protect. There's no winning this, but there's... There's an exercise in making it last longer. Ah, <laughs> oh. if only we could have just held out just a little bit more. I think all we can do is protect, and then just keep hoping for chipping. I'm just gonna chip, 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 chip. Now that. That might... I suppose he didn't go for Knuckle again. Um, it will be interesting to see. Um, so again, everything's nice and slow. I think all we can do is try to leech seed the thing. Um, my suspicion is it's Choice Band. Um, that's possible. So... I think... 
we have to go leech seed because there's not much else going on there. The the relinquish, um again, it's a, it's an ability play, isn't it? It's um I forget the name of it, um, but it's it's doing its thing. Now let's see how much damage this does. Uh, oh come on! It's not been kind, this final. It has not been kind. I mean, yeah, we're always going to struggle to survive that hit. Um, oh, well. GG's. I, I think the poison was frustrating from a from a symbolic perspective. Uh, we never got to proc with Delibird. That was so annoying. Um, I was really hoping we could do that. But alas, it wasn't meant to be. Uh, and, you know, in all fairness, Matrix is playing a much, much better game than me at the moment. Um, so I can live with that. I can live with that. We'll take second. I think we take second. Go on, let's hope we at least take second. Um, but, you know, it was a fun team to play with. Um, and, ah, oh, that, that first game. That first game was a killer. It was just that thing. If if Leech Seed hadn't missed or if it had just gone with, you know, a move, like the 100% Giga Drain, I think we win that game. I think we would have been fast enough to take it. Um, and, yeah, I think, I think at that point we would have taken game one. But there we go. That's uh, that's life. So we'll, um, we'll post this a little bit later. We couldn't make Delibird work, but uh, it was a lot of fun, apart from the hacks. There was a there was a slight slight unfavorable. I think I think a slight uh, just a, as I say, the symbolic hacks of it was harsh. Uh, you, know, you know, how many like we landed every other lead seed during that game, but not the one which was critical to keeping the match alive. Such is the way. Ah, there we go. That's it. That's league. That's season one done. Let us never speak of season one again. It lasted for approximately 18 months. That was too long. We'll try and move things on quicker from now on. Okay. Good night, guys. Good seeing you. Good to record. Let's hope we actually give you a, a win to look at in the future on another two and a lot. All right. Goodbye.